You had one job, Jack. Intro. Yo, what is good, Creep Squad fam? It is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another review video. And that's right, I did give this one a once over, uh, only because Church put out a short video um, basically announcing that. He was going to take, I think he said his first three albums, um, he was going to take those down, recut them, remaster them, and then post the new versions of those albums up at a later time. So that way, um, a certain somebody can uh, no longer be making any money off of those albums since they can't help themselves, you know what I mean, by um, not talking about, you know, how much they they help church get to where he is and all this and that you know what i mean I, like they're trying to hold this uh rain cloud over his head or something i don't know but anyway so this video is gonna be about uh church calling out johnny cashville and you're, you're about to see why so let's go ahead and jump right into this thing by liking the hit hit johnny cashville what's up you ho ass cracker <laughs> i seen you been running your motherfucking mouth I don't know why everybody in the Ville knows you a sissy ass bitch. I mean, damn. You want to talk about getting roasted, Jack? Ah, 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 ah. I mean, church about to roast you like a turkey. And we about a couple months away from Thanksgiving. I mean, I'm just saying, Brett. You running your mouth is why I posted that video earlier. Boy, I'm finna pull a Taylor Swift on these hoes. So this is that YouTube short video that I was telling y'all about where Church makes the announcement about the albums. Anyway, I'm going to let my man go ahead and tell it. So there's a dude who is attached to my first three albums who keeps running his motherfucking Twinkie hole. And those three albums have been paying dude's bills for like seven fucking years, even though he's running his Twinkie hole. So as of tomorrow, those albums will not exist anymore. I'm going to take them down and I'm going to pull a Taylor Swift and I'm going to recut them and remaster them. And I'm going to put him back out. That way he gets zero of church money from tomorrow on. And you got no one but yourself to blame for that, Jack. Because like I said earlier, you only had one job. And that was to keep your mouth shut when it comes to, you know, in, in regards of my man church here. All you do is keep old boy's name out your mouth. And you will still be, you know, collecting that revenue. But no. No, no, no. You can't help yourself. And now your mouth, well, your ass is writing checks that your mouth can't cash. Bill. Yeah, that, 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 that sounded a whole lot better in my head. But anyway. See how that works? He's the reason for the teardrops on my guitar. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> that was about you, motherfucker. And guess what? Them albums will be gone tomorrow. And your ass gonna be getting zero dollars a month. What are you gonna do about it? Nice shit. Running around Nashville talking about, oh yeah, I'm the reason for Upchurch's success. You know, if it wasn't for me, Upchurch wasn't a motherfucker. Are you stupid or something? Yeah. I got, I got here from ditching your ass. Facts. I mean, there is a reason why Church hasn't been working with Cashville uh, as of late. You know what I'm saying? There's a reason why Church has been maintaining his distance from Cashville for so long. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm just saying, man. I mean, it, it should be obvious. You don't know shit about shit. You dumb as fuck. Everybody around here knows it. I can't think of one person who who has. I mean, for real. The, I mean, the only thing that, that that dude does now is, like I said, his roast videos. And don't get me wrong. Yeah, I, I like some of the roast videos that he was doing. But then sooner or later, though, that act get, gets old, you know what I'm saying, and um, and stale, you know what I'm saying, and when you keep doing that that same same old trick over and over and over and over and over again, yeah, eventually, you know, people get tired and they move on. Anyway, as respect for you in the six one five. You know why? Because there ain't nobody. 
You fucking Instagram selfies with your goddamn Harley you could barely ride ain't scaring nobody. You holding a fucking AR-15 like somebody who's never held one in their fucking life ain't scaring nobody. You know why? I mean, I mean, he he ain't wrong. I mean, that 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 is a little a, a little sus as fuck. I mean, I, I'm I'm just saying. Cause you ain't scary, motherfucker. Talking about oh I'm a. I know I saw this video once over, but I forgot about the the part where church, you know, freaking hit you with that with that with that jump scare and everything, man. I mean, I'm just saying, bro. I'm a good manager, I'm a good manager. No, you're not, you stupid fuck. Hell, the first time I ever went to a studio with you was in a goddamn trap house where somebody was selling drugs out of it the whole motherfucking time. I'm sitting there fucking nervous as shit, young as hell, trying to record some shit while motherfucking dope heads come in and out, 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 buying drugs. Hell, one... Bruh. Bruh. Heisenberg much? I mean, I, I'm just saying, man. Talking about, you know, Breaking Bad while my man here, you know what I'm saying, it was trying to launch his music career and everything. I mean, Brett. One day I was outside my Tahoe, had Kane Brown in the back fucking seat, and yo ass got shot at. That was back when I had that blue Tahoe. Did I drive away like a hoe? No, nah, I sat there and waited for yo ass to get to the fucking vehicle. And that, that yo, that that is that is loyal as fuck, man. Old boy got, got shot at. And Church still waiting on his ass, you know what I mean, to get in the truck so they can they can take the hell off, you know what I mean? I mean, bruh. Say I'm lying, motherfucker. I'll call the dude who shot at you that day, and I'll get him to tell everybody. Speaking of being a fucking manager, you ain't no motherfucking manager. Your 50-50 deal or 50%, 50%, nah, it's really like 90-10. Because the whole time I did this 50-50 thing with your dumb ass, who was paying for all this shit? Me. Who's supposed to pay for that shit? You, motherfucker. So really, I was getting nothing. I had a manager I didn't fucking need. I was doing the, I was doing these shows. Gas on me. Food on me. Hotels on me. Equipment on me. Every damn old boy was trying to ride on church's coattails, man, bruh, bruh. I mean, you want to talk like 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 you got it made. Right in, in 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 the shade and shit. You know what I mean? Like you laid, paid, made in the shade and everything, and you made you made church pay for everything. I mean, bruh, bruh, everything on me. So what was left for me was fucking nothing. Yeah, you wanna know the real beginning of up church, motherfucker? You getting it right now? Or what about when I saved my money up when I was getting ninety ten with your ass, pretty much? Your version of 50-50. I bought all this motherfucking Yamaha equipment. Yamaha speakers. I bought myself a mic, a pop filter, all that shit. Then guess what? The spot that you orchestrated that we record at, I put all my new shit in there that I fucking bought with my own money. And then what? Y'all motherfuckers try to tell me, oh man, the studio got robbed. All right, well, the front... Ain't that some shit? This dude is trying to invest into himself for the sake of his career, and yet somehow that studio got robbed. Glass of the fucking place wasn't busted out, so who the fuck had a key to go in there, ho ass cracker? That is sus as fuck. The 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 door wasn't wasn't busted out. It wasn't broken, so there was no sign of forced entry. So yeah, and who's the only one that would have access? To that studio? Man, you want to talk about freaking supposedly how you helped church. It sounds like you, you try to hold him back. It sounds like you try to keep him from launching his career. Bruh, you were more of a hindrance than help. I'm just saying. It was you and one of your homies. Now what in it? And if it wasn't, who the fuck else do you make a key for, dum dum? Oh, days of our lives, ass motherfucker. I mean, yeah, I mean, there's no sign of forced entry. Someone, you know, was able to easily get in there. I mean, someone had to ha have a key, or someone had to have let let the door uh, left the door unlocked. And it's like, why would you do that, knowing full well that there's some expensive ass equipment in that studio? I mean, you either dumb, stupid, or dumb. Take your pick. I remember when I remember when it first happened. 
I, I pull up to I pull up in the hood over there in fucking Bordeaux, out front of the chicken spot, and you outside going, man, it's a tragedy, man, dude. Who could have done this, dude? I walk in. There's a there's a plasma screen TV that's not broke, laid on the ground. Uh, some magazines thrown everywhere. Uh, a coffee table flipped over, but none of the flat screens or nothing was stolen. Just my studio equipment. No. Just his studio equipment. No one, no one took the flat screens or anything yet. Yeah, bruh. I mean that that's yeah. There's a whole lot of red flags when it comes to uh, when it comes to old Cashville, bruh. What it was was you thought I was stupid because I was country as fuck. Mm -hmm. That's what it was. Yep. And while we're at it, why don't we just talk about all this shit you always talking but not backing up nowhere? Back then, you was always been like, yeah, everybody cool with me. Everybody scared of me. They know what's up. They know what's up. And all the rappers in Nashville know I'm not fucking bullshitting because they know you, motherfucker. You was the kid with the nice house and the nice family and everything's good and there's banana pudding on the goddamn table after dinner. That was you, motherfucker. That was you. You wanted to be Jelly. You wanted to be Shrug. You wanted to be Haystack. First three years of my career, what'd your ass do? All you did was tell me, oh, Jelly don't like you. Oh, Shrug don't fuck with you. Man, Haystack and all of them don't like you that much. You was fucking lying, dog. Facts. Facts. Because, see, if that were true, how was it that, you know what I mean, he was able to collab with folks, you know what I mean, like uh, A-Cow, like, uh, who else did he... Yeah, A-Cal, Demon Jones, you know what I'm saying? And these are all the same kind of people that Cashville saying that, you know, didn't, didn't like church. Where the fuck you hanging out with them at? Nowhere, motherfucker. You wanted to be cool like them. You wanted to be gangster like them. But guess what? You was not either one of those. You still ain't one of those. You never have been one of those. Your ass didn't want me hanging out with them because you knew for a fucking fact they was going to tell me that you was a real ass sissy in real life. And you knew that I fit in their group more than your motherfucking group. He yeah, ain't wrong. I mean, that, that that is big time facts. You know what I'm saying? Church is is definitely in that category with the struggle, with with Jelly, with, like I said, A-Cal, Demon Jones, all them dudes. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Bruh. That's what I'm saying, man. Old boy was more of a hindrance than, than help, man. That's That's fucked up. What you gonna do at this point in this video? Lean back, go, ah, 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 and hack your brains out? Mm -hmm. He's gonna do that freaking count laugh that he always does. That, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> instead, but instead of saying, I'm about to roast your jack, he, 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 he finna say, man, church done roast my ass. For 20 motherfucking minutes, you out of shape, piece of shit. What are you gonna do? Say, oh, you ain't like that, you ain't like that. Won't you ask, Strug? Won't you ask, Jelly? Won't you ask, Adam Calhoun, motherfucker? Mm -hmm. Last time we was all hanging out, when somebody said, oh, yeah, so-and-so finna come by and fuck, he said he's got a gun. Ask them who the first motherfucker was to pull out a motherfucking gun and cock that bitch. Me, motherfucker. What would you have done? Oh, dude, this is crazy. This is crazy. And you done walked your fat ass in a building somewhere. When you was running your mouth about Adam Calhoun, what'd you do? Crickets. Crickets. That's it. Crickets. That's another person you tried to make me think didn't like me. And then after all that beef and shit, you... I, I do remember hearing the stories, too, about how when A-Cal and Church first met, um, bruh, yeah, there, there was a misunderstanding at first, but then once they really got to know each other, though, obviously everything worked out, you know what I mean, and... As far as I know, Church and the A-Cow are still boys and everything, you know what I mean? Uh, A-Cow still acknowledges Church, you know what I mean? He acknowledges the times when Church helped him out and everything. So, you know everything's all good between Church and A-Cow. Uh, I mean, bruh. I mean, this, I'm sorry, but, I mean, no, I'm not sorry, man. I mean, let, let, let's call a spade a spade. I mean, it sounds like old boy was nothing more than a fucking drama queen. You know what I mean? Bruh. Anyway did with Adam and Adam's like hey I'm coming down to record a song with so-and-so what you think I said bro if you need anything let me know I told Adam I said I would not fucking trust nobody in that motherfucking circle ask him then look what happened dude shows up to fight Adam and your ass is in the back seat fucking recording like a little hoe by the way you talked all kind of shit about Nash villain you're scared of Nash villain motherfucker I know you are even that one and see and I, I find that very likely to be true because i mean like i said all, all all dude does on his youtube channel is do roast videos on you know 
a bunch of people and everything. Last time I checked, he, man, he's got like a series of roast videos on freaking Johnny Gobble still. He's still talking shit about Johnny Gobble. And then uh, he just put out a video like on on somebody else not 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 too long ago. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm sorry, but all, that's what all do all boy does, man. He just 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 talk his shit, doing his roast videos and everything. You know what I mean? And I know some people are going to be in an argument, well, church does the same thing, but that's not all church does. Yes, church does his occasional roast videos and whatnot, but that's not all he does. Obviously, my man does music. <clears throat> my man does music. Um, if I can freaking speak, man, without my voice sounding all weird and whatnot. And um, he does other vlogs, you know what I mean? He's talking about, you know, all these projects he's got coming up, you know what I mean? Like, when it's not his music, he's talking about, you know, the new house that's being built, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I mean? Or he does vlogs about his about his cars and whatnot. You know what I mean? Or yeah, or or just vlogs about other things. And then obviously, and then he shows, you know, clips from like his live shows and everything. So you know what I mean? And then Church also does his live, you know, gaming stuff and whatnot, and does other live streams as well. You know what I mean? So Church does a wide variety of things. He's not just a roast channel. Anyway, one time we was chilling outside your motherfucking house. I didn't even know who the hell dude was. He called you, said, "Hey, I'm swinging through." And you, when you got off the phone, you said, "Man, what's he coming over here for?" I mean, what, what's he, what's he want me, what's he want come over here for? What's he gonna tell me? You scared as fuck, and you should be. Nash villain crazy. Nash villain will smack a fuck out of you. Everybody you talk bad about ain't scared of your ass. You and your unbelievable dumb fucking stories that nobody believes. Just like the time you called me, he's like, hey, guess what I just did? I punked out Buck. I punked out young Buck at the car wash. No, the fuck you didn't, dude. You did not fucking punk out young Buck. If young Buck... Dude, you talking shit about young Buck who Church had the honor and privilege to work with on a dope-ass track called Catchville Stomp. Y'all, if y'all haven't heard that yet, man, y'all was missing out, man. That is one of the dopest tracks i've ever heard in my life man that shit knocks hella hard in my ride man i mean bruh. dude how, how you gonna talk shit about young bucks and you punked out young buck and shit what the fuck dude really buck will throw hands with star Lido. he will definitely throw hands with your ass freaking young young bunk will do the cashville stomp all over cashville's ass i mean bruh i don't doubt that for a second if young buck will beef with cookups crazy ass then he definitely ain't got a problem smacking you. So Johnny Cashville, you ain't never wrote none of my songs. You ain't never been about shit. You ain't never gonna be about shit. You didn't get me to where I'm at today. You ain't respected by anybody in the fucking 615. And I don't want to hear you speaking for me ever again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm taking... Right, I, I, I can't stand that shit. It's like, you know... If anyone should be speaking for church, it's church. You know what I mean? Just like anyone who speaks for me should be me. You know what I'm saying? Anyone speaking for you should be you. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Bruh. People need, need, need to quit, you know, trying to speak for other people, man. That's that's some that's some freaking dumb shit. Dumb shit. I mean I mean dude dude I'm fucked up royally, man, because man, you had it made, bro. You were make, you were collecting revenue from some of the albums you helped produce for church or whatever it is you did for those albums. I mean, I don't know the really what his position is um i'm pretty sure it was something along the lines of producing and what have you but um i mean either way whatever you did for church and those albums dude you had it made you were collecting revenue off that shit and then you had to go and pop up at, at, at the mouth because again that's that's what you do you run your mouth and look where it got you now 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 old boy is gonna cut you off he's cutting bait bruh bruh and you got no one but yourself to blame for that. That is all on you, Jack. Ah, 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 ah. Getting the music away from you. You ain't getting none of that no more. But let me tell you something, motherfucker. If I hear one more fucking word come out of your mouth about up church, you ain't going to have nobody standing around you. Because mm -hmm. the next video is going to be bad, bad. Real bad. Do you want to find out how bad? If you want to find out how bad my next video is going to be, won't you fucking say something about me one more motherfucking time? Go ahead. Do it.
I want you to. And you know church ain't messing around, man. Church always has them receipts. So, ball's in your court, my guy. If you want to fuck around and find out, well, you're more than welcome to fuck around and find out. I mean, I'm just saying. 615, motherfucker. There you go. Yeah, you. Yeah. All right, y'all. So, that was church with clearing some 615 shit up real quick. One hundo. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and give this a like out of love and respect for the homie. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah. Like I said, man, Cashfield done, done, done fucked up, you know what I'm saying? And he's finna pay the price for it, you know what I mean? He's gonna have to find his own way, take care of his shit, and get that revenue uh, flowing, you know what I'm saying? Bruh, all you had to do was, was leave church's name out your mouth. That's all you had to do, and you would have been fine. But, dude. Uh, I ain't that one dude from, from, from the office, but if you were to ask him, I'm pretty sure he would said, you blew it. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, let me know how y'all y'all feel about this whole situation, man. I think this whole thing is crazy, but like I said, man, I mean, old boy done... Done, done, done messed up, you know what I'm saying, it has no one but himself to blame for that, let me know if you guys agree, let me know if you disagree, we can definitely have a conversation about it in the comment, sec in the comment section, if I could talk, damn it, anyway, words Jay, words, but anyway, <laughs> uh, if y'all want to watch and listen to, to this video on your own free time, uninterrupted as you would like, y'all know what to do with, with that original link for the original video, that'll be in the description down below, and uh, while you're in the description down below, underneath that, we will have uh, instructions for how y'all can get a guaranteed reaction. We will have instructions on how you can get a priority reaction. Um, and then, of course, below that, we got two store links, free merch store, Kula Hawaii CBD. Feel free to check those shops out. Got, you know, coupon slash discount codes uh, for both sites. You know what I mean? To help save you some money on all your purchases. And, of course, below that, we got all the... All the fan bands, channels, and the folks that I rock with section. You know what I'm saying? And yes, I will be resuming the wild card album review um, as soon as possible. Please bear with me as um, I did work yesterday. They actually called me in to go work a site yesterday. Um, I'm still waiting for, I guess now I'm getting a new job site. So I'm waiting um, for, you know, where, where I'm going to be working um, from now on. But anyway, it's your boy Jason JV's also reminding you guys to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate all y'all support. Yo, we, we about to hit 5,490 subs, which means, and when that happens, you know what I'm saying? That means we'll be 10 subs away from 5,500. So yeah, I really appreciate all y'all support. You know what I'm saying? Please help spread the word. That would be greatly appreciated. You know what I'm saying? Tell your friends. Tell your families. Tell your neighbors. Tell anyone and everyone that you know that has a YouTube account. Yo, y'all need to go check out Jason JV, man. He puts out some dope videos. does music. He does reactions. He does other cool shit. You know what I'm saying? Let's go check him out. That would be greatly appreciated. And, uh, yeah. Till next one, y'all have a blessed one. All right? Peace. Quick squad.